Hymns. Hello, everyone. Sitting on the desk in front of me is a brand new BrailleSense U2, and we are going to discuss the outside and a little bit of the inside of this BrailleSense and give you descriptions of what it looks like. So I have it oriented so that the Braille display is closest to me. This will be the normal way that this unit would be used. Right now to the right of that unit, if you can see it in the picture, is the battery. And we're going to put that battery in in just a moment. But before we do that, we're going to just do a quick review of what we have here on the Braille Sense. On the very top of the Braille Sense, where my hands are now, are eight Braille keys. On the left, it's dots one, two, three, and seven, or backspace. On the right, it's dots four, five, six, and eight, or enter. And that is working out from the middle. Below that, kind of horizontal then, is a long sort of bar. That's the space bar. On both sides of that space bar are four little rectangles. From the left to right, they are F1, F2, then the space bar, F3, F4 on the far right. Then we get to the braille display. So we have 32 cells on this unit. On each side of the unit are up scroll and down scroll buttons. And above each and every cell is a cursor router key. So then if I go back up to the very top in the middle of the BrailleSense U2 is a LCD display that has a little protective uh, covering on it right now that you would peel off once you got your unit. And then on the top right corners of the top panel of the BrailleSense are the stereo speakers, one on each side. And, and then so now we're going to move around to the right side of the unit where my right hand is. In the very back of this unit is a key lock switch. It's a slider. If it's all the way to the front of the unit or closest to you, then the keys would be locked. Push it all the other way back, all the keys would be unlocked. If I come a little bit ahead of that, we have the AC connector port. And then even closer to the front is the USB port that would be used to come from the computer into this device and what that lets you do is share your flash disk with the computer or be a braille display to the computer. Now I'm turning the unit around so that you can see it. So now on the very front panel, which would be on, on the right hand side of the front panel, is the power switch. It's a slide switch. Hold it over to turn it on and let it go and do the same thing to turn it off. Then we have five media buttons. From right to left, they are forward, then play, then stop, uh, record, and then rewind. Coming a little more to the left is the media mode selector. That tells the unit what functions those media keys are going to be working on. For example, you could you could be playing music and so then the, you'd want those keys to be doing music or the media player things. You might be reading a daisy book and so you would want those keys to work on the daisy player. That's what that switch is for. Then we have two jacks. The first one is the headphone jack. Coming a little bit more, we have the external microphone jack. And then we have what you can kind of feel it if you feel it with your fingers, but it says GPS and that's where the GPS for the unit sits. It has an internal GPS receiver. If I turn the unit around a little bit more to what would be the left side of the unit, in the front of the unit we have two USB ports and then the SD card in the back. And if I give it one more turn, so now it's back in the position that I would be using it in with the back furthest away from me. On the back left corner is the reset button. You know, a little, you'll feel like a round indented hole with a little button in the middle of it. That's the reset button. And then 
the unit kind of goes in a little bit and there are three connectors back here. There's first is the ethernet connector and then a third USB port and then the video output port. It's a VGA port so you can connect it to a VGA monitor. And then we have kind of an open spot right now which is where the battery is going to go and I now have the battery in my hand the battery is kind of a rectangle shape with a uh, part on it that kind of sticks out away from the rest of the battery and as you hold it and get it ready to orient it to put it in you want that part that comes out to be on the bottom left corner with the battery held long ways between your hands that connector will be on the left bottom of the battery and if you can see this you'll see that the back of the battery looks a bit like the back of the braille sense and it becomes flush with the unit so also on the underside of the battery there's a little indentation on the back edge and that would be so that if you had to take the battery out you can get to it with your fingers so all right, holding it this way we then come back here and getting it in there we just slide it all the way in and we hear a little beep and the unit actually vibrates and so now it's booting for the first time. This takes about 30 seconds or so to come up for the very first time but then after that when you turn off the unit and turn it back on it takes maybe three seconds or so to come back on. Only when you have to do a hard reboot or a reset of the unit will it take this 30 second countdown. And on the braille display you'll first see Hymns International and then starting Braille Sense U2, and then you hear the music there, and then it says File Manager F. File Manager. So now it's up and running. Inside this unit, there is a 32 gigabyte flash disk that you can expand with those USB ports. You can plug USB drives in, you can plug USB keyboards in, you can put an SD card in here to expand your memory, all those kind of things. So we have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. We have a one gigahertz CPU or processor. We have 256 meg of RAM. So that's all being used by the operating system. Then we have an internal GPS receiver, as I mentioned. We have wireless built in. We also can do Bluetooth. There's a vibrate motor built in and there's a compass built into this device. So that is the hardware of your new BrailleSense U2. Have a good day.